Shalom. Call her Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to the 144,000 and the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth. That be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathens that look like the heathens. And to those men that do this work, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. And the few scattered elect, I mean, and the, and the few sisters that listen and learn. Um, this is uh, going to be a response to a video. I'm just going to call it the disgruntled ex-Christian. And these are, uh, you know, just, and, these, and I'm going to actually play none of these videos. It's just for a backdrop, you know. As you can see, there's a whole list of, uh, I put, a, put in disgruntled ex-Christians and all these videos popped up. And, um. You know, you can see the titles, You're Deceived by Satan, Ex-Christian Responds, uh, Jesus Didn't Preach Christianity But Islam, um, Reacting to British Ex-Christians Revert Story, you know, uh, down at the bottom, you got to all your little shorts, this guy said, no, no Christian can explain this, and then, you know, uh, and what it just comes down to is that this, the truth isn't for everyone, and God doesn't love everybody, and I'm going to play a video. Um, the actual video that I'm going to play is a video from uh, from TikTok that a brother sent to me yesterday. And um, let me uh, find it. And, um, and, and when I watched the video... I was like, oh man, this is heavy. This 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 definitely has to be the video that I, you know, uh, do a response to. But let me uh I'll find it. Slovakia. Of course, you know, you know how Satan does. When you go and look at something, he throws everything else in your face. But let me grab a scripture first. And um you have to understand that that that, that the God of the Bible, whose name is Yahweh. Um, he doesn't love everyone. He loves he loves a certain select people, his people, and and then he hates another set of people, and the other people just don't matter. All right, and I'm going to the first scripture we're going to read is um is Romans. Let's go to the book of Romans nine and thirteen. And it reads, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Verse 14, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. All right. So the Lord is the creator of everything and all things. The problem with Christianity is that it's man-made and it's made up, you know, and, and it's ruled over by the Edomites, the very people that God hates are the main people who have pushed Christianity. And they pushed Christianity in the in, 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 and to spread it to the whole world, they did it with extreme violence, with acts of hatred, murder, land theft, rape, robbery, slavery. It's how they spread Christianity. And then they took the very uh, uh, entities of the Bible and made them look like themselves because the the people in the Bible were all people of color, as far as as far as the uh, the people that were loved is is concerned. All right, and the prophets. And what did Edom do? Not only did he he, he teach a false message, but then he even took the images of the people of the Bible and made them to look like himself. That's in the Bible twice. It's in the book of the Wisdom of Solomon. And it's also in the book of the Maccabees. But uh, let's find it. It's 1 Maccabees 3 and uh, 48. I think I'll start at 46. Yeah, that's, matter of fact, that should be highlighted in red because it was Esau that did this. This is 1 Maccabees 3 and 46. And it reads, Whereas, Wherefore the Israelites assembled themselves together, and came to Mashpah over against Jerusalem, for Mashpah was was the place 
where they prayed aforetime in Israel. Now, you got to think they had just taken back over Israel from Edom, right? Edom was the main heathen that was, you know, that defiled the, the holy places, all right? And it says, then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and, and put ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. All right, so what you have, let's see if we can pull up some images. I got plenty of them in my phone. Let me let me get, go to some to some receipts. All right, here's one. All right, it says, uh, and they laid open the book of the law. Where wow, and it's even quoting the scripture wherein the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. So this is what they did, because prior to the 1400s, to the 1200s, to the 12th century, all the images, yeah, prior to the 1400s, actually, all the images of the saints of the Bible were people of color. All right, then the Renaissance came. And what did Renaissance mean? The rebirth, the rebirth of what? The rebirth of Rome, the rebirth of, of Edom Esau, that dragon that was wounded but did not die. All right, Esau came back into power. After a thousand years of them, which is why they came back into power with such a vengeance and in all the captivities before the Israelites always knew their heritage. OK, but in this latest one, you know, and, and this one that we're in now, they actually removed our heritage from us. They and this is how they, you know, were able to have the dominion over us and push and use our book, create because Christianity doesn't ma match up with the scriptures at all. And they use our own book as a weapon against us. And this is why people like this brother, if I can find this video, are so duped and so angry, you know, at, uh, at what's going on in the world and how he feels like he's been lied to and, and, and duped, <laughs> you know. But this is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And it reads, And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land in which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine, in mine anger, and which shall burn forever. And this is a very powerful scripture. People like Vocab Malone are in denial of it, but the Bible, prop, Jeremiah, prop, Jeremiah prophesied that the Israelites would, uh, uh, would, would be cut off from their heritage and serve captivity is in a place that they knew not that they were not familiar with. And in that place, that's where they would lose their heritage. There is no scripture that, you know, you can't, you can't make the current residents in the land of Israel fit this scripture. According to them, they've always known that they were Israelites, which, which is in the Israelites were completely cut off from the heritage. Right. And the evidence is, is overwhelming with that, you know? So, you know, you got these people to try to create these doctrines to get around that, but we don't want to, you know, go in there. We're going to try to stick to the subject matter at hand. Let me try to find this video now. Let me, uh, go to TikTok. And, um, let me see. Okay, I know one way I can find it. I can go to my saved videos. I know I saved it. At least I thought I did. It got deleted. Where, where's that angry brother at? And he was mad too. That brother was mad. He was like going in. So just bear with me for a moment. I'm trying to hunt for this video. Can't believe I didn't. Let's say, let me see if I can go back to my messages. Go back to the brother that sent it to me. Oh. Yep, here we go. Found the brother. Let's see if we can. Ah, there we go. Let me hit save on this because this is a good one. All right, so let me uh turn the sound up. And I'm going to show the video. I mean, uh, let me pause it and just put his face up. So you can see, because I don't want to sit here and hold this hold this phone, just hold the camera up. 
But this is a brother that's speaking, all right, with his, you know, violation of the law. You see how he's got a beard, which is righteous, but it's all, you know, it's all lined up, which is he's not supposed to do that, you know. And um, and then uh, he's clearly put the razor to his head. So this guy is claimed to be a Christian, but the thing is, is that Christians know nothing about the Bible. They really don't. They don't know anything about the nature of, of the Lord. The Lord is great and terrible, but yet you you will you will let him tell his story. Ten years and I believed it with all my heart. All right, hold on. I separated myself from my family. And and he was being OR, what we call overrighteous. All right, but here here it is. Yes, I am angry. I'm angry because I lived a lie for fifteen years and I believed it with all my heart. I separated myself from my family, friends, I moved relocated, disassociated myself from everyone or anyone who was not saved. I believed that I could not be unequally yoked together with non-believers. So I turned my back on good people or people who needed me. But it was for the cross's sake, right? It was for the cross's sake. Rather than fearing men, I feared the one who can cast both soul and body in that someplace called hell. I took hook, line, and sink of the false story of love called John 3.16. That's no message of love. That's a message of coercion. Twisting your arm behind your back is a message with the ultimate threat or the end of it. While it says, oh, if you believe, you'll get some cake. But if you don't, I'll burn you. Let me tell you something, every believer. Yeah, I'm mad. Because I care more about people than your God. It is just a book. It ain't real. God of the Bible is the devil of the Bible. I don't say that to be mean. I say that because it's a fact. It ain't no such thing as a devil. I'm just using the terms that you're familiar with. It was the God of the Bible that drowned people. It was the God of the Bible that sent animals out of the woods to destroy children. It was the God of the Bible who chose to unalive all the firstborn in Egypt, even the slaves and even the firstborn of the cattle. It was the maniacal God of the Bible that did that. And, and, you know, and there it is. The Lord is great and terrible. All right. He's great and terrible because he had he loves and, 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 and what he you know, what this guy is having an issue with is the fact that he was told that God was all love. And this is what the Hebrew Israelites with the men of the Lord come out and, check and tell you week in and week out. And still you people just do not want to listen. All right. And and. And what he's saying is true to a certain extent, but that doesn't make God wicked. That doesn't make him evil. He's the creator of all things, of everything, every element, every particle, every living being, every cell. All right. And he chose a people to love and a people to hate. All right. And then he gave his people uh, a certain, uh, 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 um, you know, law, statutes and commandments to follow. And when they didn't follow them. And followed after the heathen, the other nations, he allowed them to be scattered among them for thousands of years and lose their identity. And now at the end, the Lord is going to bring them back. Let's let him, his rant go a little bit more. And he's a pastor on top of that. So much to the degree that we would see the wickedness of the character Yahweh in the Bible and deny it and say, no, no, he wasn't wicked. No, it really is our fault. It's us. It's us. No, it's not. Do you know how many people are on the brink of suicide or have committed suicide because they battle with it themselves, wondering why loving God made them the way that they uh, that He did, but yet uh, because of how they but yet they scoff the Hebrew Israelites, and we've been telling them all along. The Lord, do you and though and these people that commit suicide, they you know or, you know it's because the Lord is giving them the 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 mindset to do so. The Lord seals your instructions in your in your in your mind when you sleep. That's scriptural. And the Lord doesn't love everyone. All right? As simple as that. You can't. And you're talking about he separated himself. And this, his name is Sean. What's his name? Sean Towers. He's an ex-pastor. All right? So this is an ex-pastor. And he's probably got people following him and believing him because a lot of people feel like him. And the reason they feel like him is because they believe the so-called white man's version of the Bible, which is in which is entrenched in uh, you know, colonial slave plantation Christianity. All right. And I don't know of any colonial activities that were nice. <laughs> it's, 
especially to the people that were being colonized. Okay, but let's let's correct some of his fallacies, some of the the, the things that he, you know, you, this is how you know pastors don't really know anything, except for when they watch our videos, and then this is actually how the Christian church is learning, because you see them having talk points that they never had before until we came on the scene, All right? But this is uh, Revelations uh, 2 and 26, I believe. Now, I'm going to start at 25. But that which ye have all already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. All right? So you have to keep the works of the Lord until the end. Nobody's saved. Nobody's saved until the, until the Lord shows up and, and decides who's going to be who's going to keep his works to the end. That's when you get saved. All right. And it says that he shall rule them with the rod of irons as the vessels of a potter. They shall be broken to shivers, even as I have received from my father. All right. So. The Lord is going to come back and break into pieces the other nations and then set his people up over them. Uh, Psalms 2 and, and 8. All right. And it reads, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. All right. When you go to verse 1, Psalms 2 and 1, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? These people run around talking about I'm saved and, and, and Jesus loved me and, and I love Jesus, et cetera, et cetera. And, and his name is Yahweh and he's coming back to exterminate and enslave them. He's going to break them into pieces. You know, the horns, the power, the, you know, that's what a horn represents, the hills and the mountain. Hills and mountains represents countries and governments, big countries and small countries. All right. And he... he didn't you know he didn't he didn't seek what he was looking for, which was the truth. He didn't want to accept the truth because he accepted he accepted the false uh, ideology of of a love doctrine and that God loves everybody when He does not. All right, this is, and just like He said, the same God of the the uh, the Old Testament that was killing all these people and animals, He's going to do the same again. All right, this is uh, and he, this time He's going to do it with fire. The promise was he wouldn't destroy the water with the world with water anymore. And think about it. Billions of people. He killed them all and only saved eight people. And then out of those eight people, he, he only chose one set. Out of those eight people, out of, you know, the, the, uh, there was, you know, Noah had three sons. His, so him, his wife, and then his sons and their wives. Out of those, out of those three sons of Noah came all the people that are on the earth today. And out of all those billions of people, there's only one race of people that the Lord has chosen. And they're the they're the, and they're the most uh, uh, despised. Well, the, treated the worst anyway, because actually the most despised is is, is Esau Edom at this point. All right, he's the smallest race, and he's also the most hated because the whole world is beginning to see them for who they really are. All right, and what they've they've done. But this is Romans eleven and seven, and it reads, "What then, Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for." But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So that's what's going on with uh, Pastor Sean. All right, what's his name? Sean Porter, what's his name again? Doing your own work. Yeah, Sean Towers. That's what's going on with, with Pastor ex-Pastor Sean Towers, is that he was not of the Lord's elect. All right, he's just a, he's a two-third Israelite. He's a two-thirds, which means he's a nutsack Israelite. He's going to down his side amongst the two-thirds, and death by pain more than likely. All right, and then he's going to be born into the kingdom perfect because all Israel will be saved in the end, but only one third is going to make the first trip. Two thirds, which is the majority, all right, are going to die. The majority of the two were two thirds are women. You got to remember, women outnumber men 14 to 1 worldwide at this point on average. But every man is supposed to have one woman. That will leave 13 women uh, single for the rest of their lives if the world followed that lie. See, that's another lie. Marriage, I mean, you know, a man can have multiple wives. He's meant to have multiple wives. That's why I said be fruitful and multiply. All right, it tells you that in, in too many scriptures. Uh, Isaiah 4, 4 and 1 makes it very clear that in the day, what? In the day of the Lord, the laws, the laws of, the laws of heaven and the Lord's prayer shall be on earth as it is in heaven. 
And so these women have been empowered to, to a point to where, you know, they, it, it's, everything's turned upside down. All right. And then he got angry at John 17, nine. Look, the Bible is full of dark sins, lamentation, and woe. As a matter of fact, let's grab a couple of those. This is uh Proverbs. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Let me turn this light out. Cause... Six. And it reads To understand a proverb And the interpretation The words of the wise And the dark sayings You see he didn't embrace the dark sayings He embraced only the, the God love scriptures And the love is only for Israel Alright that's, that's the problem with Christianity they don't teach both sides because what? Well, because you know what? It doesn't fit their their false narrative. Psalms uh, seventy eight and two. All right, there's a scripture which I can't think of. Someone could put it on a on a comment board. Well, it says uh, the, the the book is full of you know it's full of dark sins, lamentation, and woe. But this is uh, Psalm seventy eight and two. And uh, and it reads. I will open my mouth in a parable and I will utter dark sayings of old. This guy was complaining about the dark sayings and the things that happened in the past. The she bears that came out and killed the 40 children. The flood that wiped out billions of people. And amongst other, th you know, great and terrible things that Yahweh did unto the heathen that, that came before his people. And that he did to his own people who went off from the path. All right. Let me give you the John uh, 316 kryptonite, which is John 17, 9. Because if you read John 17, you think that God loves everybody. But then the Lord tells you in John 17, 9, I pray not for them. I pray not for the world, but for them thou hast given me, for they are, are, my, are thine. So the Lord was given what? The elect. Not all people. He was given the elect of Israel. And all, and it says, and all mine are in the, are, are thine, and they are mine, and, and I am glorified in them. So this is all about the elect of Israel, all right? The world was created for their sakes. Well, for Israel, you know, for Israel's sake. But it's the elect that is going to be the governing body along with the Lord when he, upon his return. The, the 144,000 actually is going to be the be the governing body. All right. Those are going to be the judges that are going to judge the rest of the earth that are not under the law. So therefore, they will not be perfect. They will still sin. And they will. And so the rest of the world will still receive judgment and the harshness of the Lord. Only Israel will be, you know, exempt from that because we will be made perfect and will never break the law again. All right. So the covenant, the second covenant has not kicked in yet for these idiots who are teaching that. That's a lie. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. And it reads, um, And after these, Adam also, which thou madest the Lord over all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. See, there's a chosen line. All this I have spoken before thee, O, ye, o Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. All right. As for the other people. As for the other people. Um, which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle. And has likened the abundance of them. Unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So like the sweat that falleth from your cup when you're drinking a cold beverage. That's the other billions of people to the Lord compared to hit the apple of his eye, which is Israel. Call Halal Yahweh Shem Nawashai Bahasham Bakar Kadash Wa Ababa Ba Kwam Yasharala Shalawam.